The two mountains on either side of this valley in Takana in northern Kenya act as a funnel for a wind that is stronger and more consistent than almost anywhere else on Earth. All that's here at the moment are masts measuring the wind in preparation for Africa's biggest wind farm. Over the next three years, uh, during the, the construction, we will see behind us here, we, on all the ridges, we will have uh, what they call strings of turbines, basically generating power. 365 turbines will be built, producing over 20% of Kenya's power needs. A huge project in an area where there has been little development. The Takana people live by rearing livestock, and those living here will be able to continue to do so as the wind farm won't be fenced off. One village is having to be moved away from the new road that will be built. The inhabitants don't seem to mind. The good thing is it will bring schools, water and hospitals. We used to walk all day to Lo Yangalani to fetch water. Now they decided to relocate us to a different site and give us water. Kenya's other power comes largely from geothermal plants making the country one of the greenest in Africa. It's something good for, for the world. Uh, if there's a way we can be able to, to make our air clean, the world, I think this is one of the projects, at least in northern Kenya, that could potentially be very good for us. The $775 million project has been seven years in the making. Funded by private donors and the African Development Bank, work should finally start in the next few months once they get the final sign-off from their investors.